So when I was about 16, my dad and I went down, lived in Las Vegas, and we went down to the Pomona Swap Meet in California. He said we were going to look for him a hot rod. And we walked around the swap meet and everything was either too far gone for him or too expensive and could never find nothing. Um, so we decided to leave. We we're going to go home. Walk out in the parking lot and outside of the swap meet in the parking lot was a uh, green and white pickup. And that is it. Half ton, long bed, green and white, two-wheel drive, C10. It was awesome. I mean, there's 1,972 miles on the odometer. Come on. Who does that as a teenage kid? It ticked over, and I made sure I watched it until then. Um, after high school... I had to have something four-wheel drive, so I sold it, and I regret it ever since. And I've wanted one ever since, but I can't afford one. So, I don't know, about three or four months ago, I finally found a pile of crap, which is what this truck is, or used to be. It used to be a pile of crap. Um, then I got sick. Sick enough, I had to call in to work and tell them I wasn't coming in. It was right when the COVID quarantine started. So my boss said I needed a doctor's note to come in. And I was really sick. I had the cold. I had a cold. I was sick. So there was no doctor in the world that would give me a note to go back to work. So they gave me nine days off with pay. I was planning on turning my ugly, crappy, long bed into a short bed and taking six months to do it. I mean, this thing is, look at look at the crease in the door. So since they gave me the nine days off, I decided to do it. So now it's a short bed. Got my kids tag along bike in the back, but it's a short bed. It's not 100% done. Like I still need to do some welding, but it's a short bed. Made a little rack to hold old motorcycles. But one thing, the, the whole truck is rusted. Rusted out here, rusted out there. The floor was all rusted. Everything was bad. Had some crappy 90s stereo in it that I took out. Anyways, the best thing about the whole truck was that seat. When I got it, the bed was covered in roofing shingles. And the inside was covered in trash, like somebody had just jumped out of it after six months of working and had a black vinyl seat cover. I took that seat cover off, and this is what was inside. It was this seat. I mean, not bad at all. I mean, a little, little teeny bit going on right there, but what do you expect? So, me and my girls have called it the creamsicle, so I... Made into a short bed, and then I lowered it next week after I got back to work. So, this is my 1972 C20, still three-quarter ton, custom deluxe, camper special. My wife bought me some little mirrors for my birthday. So I got the brackets for the big old camper mirrors, but I took them off. And then I couldn't find, it didn't have, it had what a big step bumper on it. And I couldn't find a bumper for it. So I took a front bumper and I cut it down and turned it into this. So this is my half ton. Oh, <laughs> best, another funny part is I bought the entire complete truck for 500 bucks, but it didn't have a tailgate. So I spent 200 bucks on a tailgate that was close, but it doesn't really match, but whatever. And once I do get this all welded up, I'm not gonna paint it, I'm not gonna finish it. It's just a cool old truck. Let's see if she'll start.
There you go. <laughs> Smoked it out. Wonder what, how long it'll take till somebody comes out of the house. So as the smoke clearing out, I figured I'd tell you what gave me the motivation to do this was uh, I saw Dan from Double D's Speed Shop up in Canada. He, and that's how he, he did his short bed, except for he put new box sides on and I just used the old ones. But I moved my axle forward. I didn't uh, shorten the frame just like he did. So got my ambition from him and from uh, Derek from Vice Grip Garage. It's an old piece of crap. Who cares? Let's get it going. So that's what I did during the quarantine 